So welcome everyone. Here we have the conductometric titration of barium hydroxide. Watch for the falling drops of sulfuric acid uh, on the right hand side as they drop into the blue solution of barium hydroxide. The barium hydroxide solution is the blue because bromthymol blue uh, indicator has been added to it. Here we're running the video at 400 uh, time or 400 percent speed I'm sorry so that you can see the rapidly declining connectivity of the solution. The notice as we slow down the video here and near equivalence, just watch closely for the color change. Here it comes. There's the equivalence point as the bromthymol blue indicator turns yellow. Also notice on the lab quest, you can see here that the connectivity of solution has started to increase, indicating we have in fact passed the equivalence point. Just keep on adding the sulfuric acid solution here, drop by drop, always carefully measuring the volume. We'll see that, again, speeding up the video, the connectivity solution continues to increase linearly with increased, connectiv increased concentration, mind you, of the hydride ion and the sulfate ions. Just let the video play here to the end, and then we'll add in some of the uh, calculations so you can see what happens with the data that we collect after this. Okay, so that's the end of the video portion, and now we move to the calculations. So here you can see the data from the titration loaded into Logger Pro. These are the two runs that we did. Uh, certainly we did it more than one, although only one was shown in the video. Let me demonstrate how to go ahead and analyze this data. What we'll do first of all is highlight a linear section of the data here, and we'll just ask Logger Pro to give us a linear interpolation on that data. We'll do the same thing on the other side over here. Again, ask Logger Pro to give us a linear interpolation of that data. We'll ask for both runs so you can see the comparison with the two of them. Put the bottom runs down here. Uh, that'll be run four at the bottom and a run three at the top. We did two other runs that you didn't see in the video that in fact didn't, uh, didn't work out that well. So <laughs> we just use the data we have here. The points that we're looking for are the points where the lines, the straight lines that best fit here, intersect at zero. And uh, I'll just zoom in here so you can have a look and uh, see those points more clearly. So we'll just zoom in a little bit uh, here on the data and uh, see if we can get a closer look at the points in question. Okay, we'll use the uh, analyze interpolate feature on Logger Pro here and uh, we can see that the right there, okay, we can see that the first point of equivalence is right here at 9.6916 or 9.692 milliliters. And for the second run, uh, we had a point of equivalence at 9.793 milliliters. So this is the way that the points of equivalence are determined using the uh, conductometric uh, information. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So like, comment, and subscribe.